Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna have a look at the latest update for Resurrection Remix on the K20 Pro. Yes, we are talking about a January security patch, we are talking about version bump to 8.6.6 and this has been my go-to ROM for many many years to be very very honest and today we're gonna do a quick review of this, we're gonna cover everything from intro to you know the fingerprint speed, how is the charging, battery life and how is the gaming experience and later we will have a live stream on this particular rom as well so this is a very very exciting video for me because uh, personally i have a soft corner for this particular rom but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each and every video you will find a link to our telegram community please go ahead and join us there as well and if you think the hard work is worth the effort please go ahead and click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so first things first, we're going to talk about the build info. Now, this setup here is a little different from what I usually shoot. Let me know in the comment section if this view looks better or the top down view looks better. Nonetheless, so let's go to settings over here. I have enabled the dark theme disclaimer. This doesn't come with dark theme enabled out of the box. So if you go to system, you have all sorts of animations going on here and looks really, really beautiful. But if you actually go to about phone and you click on the Android version, that is where you will get all the Android version details. So you do have Android version 10 and the version as I mentioned is 8.6.6. The build date is the 20th of January 2021 and it is an official build. It does come with a Android security patch level of 5th of January. So that's pretty, pretty neat those are all the build related details now if you look over here the theme that resurrection remix follows is sort of colorful icons looks a little different from other custom roms at the same time it works very very subtle and smooth as well all right now what do we have here as always in android 11 android 10 common stuff we have the front camera sound effects all right you don't have the calibration that we saw in yesterday's rom you do have the gestures that you can you have some additional gestures over here then you have your backup reset options you do have the built-in software updater as well so that is a neat option and you do have developer options over there now apart from this if you have a look at the settings it's very very subtle very very you know vanilla android-esque is what i would like to call it but all in all the reason this rom has been my personal favorite is because the first thing that you look at a particular rom is the launcher and this one does come with trebuchet launcher with which i've not had any issues now if you have a look the moment i swept from right to left or left to right it does have the google discover built into the launcher and if we actually go to the launcher settings over here okay you will notice that you do have you know custom icon packs you can make a ton of customization like double tap to sleep double tap to wake and as you can see although i'm not using a screen protector or a glass screen protector on this phone the touch itself on this rom is very very sensitive that is something i really really like you have the app drawer icon you have miscellaneous op options as well so the launcher is pretty pretty neat it works pretty well and you see this quote over here we love you 3000 yes that's from the avengers end game uh, nonetheless we've talked about the launcher we've talked about the you know about section of build info uh, let's actually talk about the camera situation in this particular rom now just like all the other roms this rom does come with the default camera ignore the stand over there that's a makeshift stand this does come with the basic camera application as you can see over here so nothing much there in the basic camera application but what sets this rom apart is this is based on android 10 i have gone ahead and installed anx camera the version links will be mentioned in the description and it works perfectly fine as you can see over here right now at times whenever you flash a new custom rom you might have this bug wherein the home swipe button might not work but that is nothing to worry about you just have to reboot the phone once and that will be completely fine so it's just part just a part of the setup so we won't reboot the phone now all right now let's actually swipe from top to down the quick settings panel this is very very interesting for me when it comes to the resurrection remix rom because 
just have a look at the amount of options you have I mean this is a big display and all the options can completely fill the display and the best part is you do have a built-in FPS counter you do have a built-in screen recorder and stuff like that so that's pretty pretty neat and you do have a gaming mode and all the other options available as well so the quick setting panels is very very customizable it has a lot of functions and features which really really makes this rom stand out now that we are done you know at the front end of the rom let's actually dive into settings and have a look what all do we get so the first thing that grabs my attention is resurrection tools now the reason it grabs my attention is because this is where all the magic for resurrection remix happens and this is where you will find all the customization you need to be very honest it has more you know customization than i have seen in probably any other rom if you click on the plus sign over here you have sort of shortcuts like resurrection themes updates restart rr tools restart all rros settings and stuff like that so that is pretty pretty neat and just have a look at this this doesn't feel like a custom rom when it comes to the smoothness and the stability you have clock and date customization network traffic notification ticker battery battery bar logo system icons carrier label you can just go on and on as far as the customization on this particular rom is concerned you do have parts as an option system profiles gesture anywhere pulse battery optimizations you do have edge lighting you have heads up notifications lock screen customization always on display different types of fingerprint unlock animations and stuff like that so you know as far as customization of a custom rom is concerned this rom takes it away it 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 is hands down one of the most uh, customizable roms available out there and i'm pretty pretty happy about it now that we're done talking about the customization let's actually dive into some other settings over here for example if you go to battery over here you do have thermal profiles built in which we did not have in yesterday's rom and that is the reason that particular rom was uh, you know sort of overheating all due credit to fluid rom team they will do better i'm pretty sure but yeah you do have thermal profiles over here you can enable per app thermal profile you get a lot of options and this beautiful animation over here and uh, apart from this you have screen on time the battery temperature last full charge so you know all the relevant information that you will need on a custom rom is available over here moving on if you actually go to display you do have live display night light you have automatic brightness you have customization in the form of styles and wallpapers and you can customize the colors double tap to wake anti flicker that is dc dimming is also there and it works perfectly fine now moving on we can actually go to settings over here as you can see you do have the direct sound enhancer when you connect the earphones you will get the direct sound enhancer as well so that should uh, improve the voice quality or the music quality for you now moving on you do have a dedicated privacy tab and you have permission manager lock screen notifications trust you do have a built in firewall which is not something you would see you would you have customization for your ad controls and stuff like that so you know all in all this rom is becoming something that i can very very easily recommend to be very very honest and apart from this if you talk about the drm info for me amazon prime works in hd netflix works in hd there is no problem there if you i mean safety net is fixed out of the box that is a huge huge security piece of mind and for me the banking applications are working absolutely fine as far as the charging and battery life is concerned i'm easily getting 5 to 7 hours of battery life when it comes to very moderate gameplay and heavy you know usage over the internet and stuff and charging as well in 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes this phone charges from like 5 to 10% to 100% real real quick although i do use the supported mi 27 watt fast charger and apart from this you know i've not done much benchmarks let me actually go ahead and show you the fingerprint speed and as you can see over here the fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine it works absolutely fine with night light the face unlock works absolutely fine let me just show you over here if you go to security go to face unlock okay we'll quickly do a face unlock test see 
So face unlock works perfectly fine as well and the ROM is pretty secure and if you're a first time custom ROM user, if you want a no hassle ROM, I would suggest you go ahead and use it because as I said, ANX camera works out of the box and it's absolutely fine. So all in all, you know, I've not had any issues with this particular ROM, even when it comes to gaming, it has been giving me constant 60 fps in pubg mobile that is what i was trying to do this morning so that i can give you guys my review that how the gaming is but if you are someone who wants to see the actual gaming performance along with you know how much does it heat and all the other things uh, we will be live streaming today 7 30 pm with this particular device and this particular rom please come to the live stream we will have a you know heat indicator we will have a fps counter and a ton of fun so you know before i actually go ahead and end this video there are a few pointers that i would like to cover by one of our prime subscribers issue who has you know gone ahead and uh, shared his thoughts on it and uh, to be very honest uh, that is what i have experienced as well the rom has minimum to no bugs it has a hell lot of customization great battery life screen of f40 works uh, the performance is great Wi-Fi calling and operator video calling works fine. It has auto call recording. It has app lock, network speed indicator. So, you know, all in all, what he is also trying to say over here, and he has been using this ROM for quite some time, is that this is a sort of a go-to ROM, which is perfect for daily use, gaming, and all the other things. If you're not a competitive player, I don't think you should have any problems at all. So all in all, this ROM is a big, big recommendation from me for K20 Pro users. If you want peace of mind in gaming, go with Resurrection Remix 8.6.6 and you would really, really like it. Let me know in the comment section, how did you find this video? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.